They're off in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. Jackie's Warrior broke sharply and goes out to the early lead with company from Special Reserve. Matera Sky is sent along between those two. Dr. Schivel is close, fourth on the outside, then following C. Lexitonian has five lengths to make up. Forenze Fire, CZ Rocket, and Aloha West at the back of the pack. Jackie's Warrior with company up front from Special Reserve and Matera Sky. And they rattle off this opening quarter mile in 21.91 seconds. Jackie's Warrior the leader. Special Reserve on the outside second. Matera Sky trying to keep up with them. Dr. Shivels three lengths behind and moving well in the far turn. And following C on the inside, Aloha West and Forenze Fire. Jackie's Warrior duking it out here with Special Reserve. And they're about to be joined by Dr. Shivel. And there's three Three in a line, and following C is coming up the fence, trying to get involved. No running room there for him. Dr. Shivel, Dr. Shivel has taken the lead as they come to the final furlong. Jackie's Warrior is given way. Special reserve. Here's Aloha West flying down the center of the track. Here's the wire. Oh, it's close. Aloha West may have run down Dr. Shivel at the end. Following C was third. Oh, it's an exciting winter circle here and a packed winter circle. Say hello to Aloha West. We're going to get a couple words from Steven Jackson, NFL superstar, and of course, Breeders' Cup ambassador. Steven, what'd you make of that? It was a heck of a race. I think you just saw all the heart, all the glory, and what a sprint. I don't know anything more exciting today. This is awesome. Congratulations. And for the official trophy presentation of the Qatar Racing Breeders' Cup Sprint to the winning owners, Eclipse Thoroughbreds for Aloha West. We have Sheikh Fahad Alfani. Well done, guys. That was some, some race to watch and fantastic to be associated with Breeders' Cup. And congratulations. Well done, Aaron. Well done, everyone here. Aaron Wellman next to me, managing partner for Eclipse Thoroughbreds. Firstly, did you think you got it? It was really close. I, I actually thought live that we were home a little bit clearer than we were, and then I was walking down, I was like, that's really close. I'm just glad we got the right nose down, and Jose rode an impeccable race. He's been on fire. Brilliant. To win a classic with him and now a Breeders' Cup race is incredible. Wayne Catalano, sorry to interrupt you, deserves all the credit in the world. I'm just so happy for Wayne. Tell me, tell me about this relationship and why it's so special to you. You know, to do it with Wayne, who's had to reinvent himself so many times, a lot of people don't know, this is his fourth Breeders' Cup win, 3,000 wins as a jockey, almost 2,000 as a trainer. He's a Hall of Famer in my book. But to do it in my hometown with all our partners here, my partner Brian Spearman, my family, my dad's here, I just really wish my mom could be here to share in this today. But we're surrounded by love, incredible partners. Mr. Orifice is here and his wife, Joanne, and so many others, so many newcomers to the game. This is just great for the sport and we're thrilled to be here. And the 10 year anniversary of what you created here. This is what the sport's all about, right? Sharing it with your friends? No doubt about it. It would be a lot more lonely just being here alone. So to be able to share it. <laughs> This is surely not a lonely winner's circle. Congratulations to all of you here. Aloha West Supreme in the Qatar Racing Breeders' Cup Sprint.